This is Hayes Q. Jones, your DVD and Blu-ray baller on a budget. And this is HQ Videos for you. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Please like, share, subscribe. If you're a current subscriber, what's up? You know the routine. Come on in. Make yourself at home. This week is going to be another one of my collection videos, specifically Vinegar Syndrome. Not a huge collection, but I have some bomb pics in here. And before I get into my collection, just give you a little history on Vinegar Syndrome that I didn't know before doing this video. But Vinegar Syndrome is an American home video distribution company which specializes in protecting and preserving genre films. This company was founded in 2012 in Bridgeport, Connecticut by Joe Rubin and Ryan Emerson, who created it to restore and distribute old X-rated films, you know, bow, 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 adult films. And uh, adult films that were lost or otherwise unavailable. Their, their catalog has since expanded to include other types of cult and exploitation films, including horror films and action films. Vinegar Syndrome has been compared to the Criterion Collection for its importance to physical media and film, pres film preservation, as well as similarly garnering praises for high quality home video offerings. Like, like the Criterion Collection, Vinegar Syndrome is connected is considered a boutique Blu-ray label. In September 2021, Vinegar Syndrome announced the establishment of Vinegar Syndrome Pictures, VSP, a sub-branding dedicated to the production and distribution of films. The first film released under the VSP banner was New York Ninja, which I haven't seen, haven't heard of, which was shot in 1984 and abandoned until Vinegar Syndrome acquired the footage. Without access to the original audio or screenplay, Vinegar Syndrome then restored and reconstructed the film, adding music and newly dubbed dialogue. Cool stuff. So, if you like boutique la boutique labels, those kind of rare, hard to find titles that maybe you saw on TV as a kid, this is a label to go. Without further ado, sit back, relax, have a drink, have a smoke, and I'll catch you on the other end of this video. Back at the Black Cave, back at the Black Cave, we are back at the motherfucking Black Cave. I have my vinegar syndrome pickups here. Um, just gonna jump right into it. I'm gonna jump in with something from the Black, matter of fact, most of these are from the Black exploitation period. A lot of them are oh, Xenon VHS, if I remember correctly, not all but some. But this is Candy Tangerine Man with the extra feature or the bonus feature of Lady Coco. Is that Lola Falana? Lady Coco? Yeah, Lola Falana. Fine sister. Fine sister back in the day. I haven't seen any of these yet, so I want to get around to picking this up. Lady Coco and Tangerine Man. So, looks like some good stuff. Got the back art and the front. Next, just watched this a while ago. I picked this up from Hamilton Book. Decent price. Uh, Daryl, D-A-R-Y-L. Very cool. Is it 80s? Is it 80s or late 70s? 85. 85. Sci-fi, but it's not <clears throat> really techie sci-fi. It's more storyline driven. Uh, I don't want to give too much away if you haven't seen this before, though. But very cool um, 80s sci fi family film. D A R Y L, Daryl. Next picture this is Death by Temptation, starring Kadeem Hardison. If you know Kadeem Hardison, he was in a different world, um, kind of the spinoff of Cosby. This was a 
pretty cool low budget horror picture by director James Bond III. No relation to the Ian Fleming uh, James Bond. Um, do you have a picture of him in here? I don't see it. Very kind of little geeky looking guy though, but I believe he was one that did the direction if I don't, if I'm remembering this correctly. Yeah, James Bond the third, And you have the late Bill Nunn, if you remember uh, Do the Right Thing. Bill Nunn was uh, Radio Raheem. So, Death by Temptation. Next, we have the man himself, Rudy Ray Moore, a.k.a. Dolomite, Disco Godfather. I haven't seen this in, I don't know, I pretty much forgot the, the storyline of most of his movies, though. But if you like over-the-top, really bad martial arts and just kind of silly with silly action, you'll like Dolomite. Dolomite is almost like a parody of himself. You'd have to understand. If you've never seen a Dolomite movie, you'd have to watch it. Then you're like, oh yeah, okay. He's he's a little different. Disco Godfather. Next, again, Rudy Ray Moore, Dolomite. They better not miss. And I think he's playing kind of a, a Shaft-like character, but no way, shape, shape or form can I compare him to the late uh, Richard Roundtree. He is the ultimate action hero for the 70s. But this is Rudy Ray Moore, Dolomite, the Blu-ray and the DVD. Next, we have a horror picture, Fear. Very nice slipcover. Thick, too. How thick this thing is. Very nice. Fear. Uh, when did this come out? Is this another 80s? No, this is 90s. Mid-90s. A uh, horror film. The Fear. And I don't know if Vinegar Syndrome's stuff goes out of print or not. I really haven't really watched them online, so I don't know. I'm assuming they still have all these available. Next, we have a triple disc set here, Frankenstein, a story by Paul Morrissey. And I believe this is, I haven't watched it yet, more of a Don't want to say the P word though, but let's say it's a uh, low budget adult entertainment. I'll leave it at that. You have the cover, you have the flip cover, you have the Blu ray 4K, and you know, I can't, can't go without my 3D. So, Frankenstein. This is the flesh for Frankenstein. That's actually the, the correct name for it. I think this is just Frankenstein. And these two are the flesh for Frankenstein. And they actually have the old red and blue 3D glasses. So, they have the anamorphic. With the, the anamorphic, which I believe is red and the blue. And the real 3D. Pop you back in here. Frankenstein. Next, and I just picked these up from Hamilton Book, you know, more than a couple months ago. Freeway, uh, Kiefer Sutherland, Brooke Shields, um, Reese Witherspoon, Bokeem Woodbine, just off the hook craziness. If you haven't watched this, definitely, it, even if you don't DVD, it's definitely worth a watch. It's just that off the hook. Freeway. And, of course, I had to have Freeway 2. 
off the hook, but in a different way than the first movie. This was bizarre, bizarre in certain in certain parts. From the female in the women's prison with the one arm to the evangelist, and I won't give too many details away, but very quirky uh, adult crime humor. Freeway 2. Next, we go back to my man, Rudy Ray Moore. And I've actually seen these available at Dollar Tree. So if you like Rudy Ray Moore, specifically the human tornado, uh, take out your local Dollar Tree. You might be able to pick it up for $1.25. But this is the man himself, Rudy Ray Moore. You have the Blu-ray, the DVD, and the back art. Next, again from the black exploitation period, you have Leon Kennedy. Uh, is Jane in this? His sexy wife, Jane. You got Mr. T. And I don't know if Jane Kennedy is in or not his wife, ex wife. But you have Mr. T, Leon Isaac Kennedy. I think there's one or two other old school actors in there though haven't seen this in a minute though penitentiary Mr. T a pity the fool pity the fool penitentiary 2 and can't have penitentiary 2 without having penitentiary 1 again Leon Isaac Kennedy Blu-ray, the DVD, and the beautiful back art. And I believe these were at Zenon VHS back in the day. I might actually have a copy of those. Yes, more Rudy Ray Moore, P.D. Wheatstraw. Now, I don't think I've seen this yet. This might be one of the few Dolomite movies I haven't seen. But it's been so while since I've seen them. I think I've forgotten the plot of most of them, though. So, I think this is... Dolomite and the Devil. So, definitely looking forward to watching this. Petey Wheatstraw. Next, another Vinegar Syndrome 3D. I believe this comes with a slip cover. Just wasn't able to get that. Not a, a slip Nazi. Everybody doesn't have to have a slip though. But it's nice to have it if, if, if it's available. And it's not extra. You have the old school red and blue glasses, which is very cool because if you don't have an actual 3D TV, you can still kind of experience the 3D experience without having a 3D TV. It won't be quite as good though, but you get the, the gist of it. And I haven't watched this either, Silent Madness. So if you've seen this, let me know if this is really good or if it's just like B garbage, B movie garbage. Silent Madness. Next, we have another double feature. Welcome home, Brother Charles and Emma May. Again, from the Black Exploitation period. Haven't watched this either. And I might have got this one at Hamilton Book also. Emma May. And lastly, to finish it up, we have the legend himself, Melvin Van Peoples. Sweet, sweet back badass song and I believe not positive I have to actually do some more research I believe Bill Cosby is like one of the people who backed this movie which kind of gave Melvin his his jump I know there's a documentary on it and their movies were so risque at the time they had to label them rated X uh, if they had any kind of interracial scenes just from just because they were interracial scenes of a of a man and a woman they had to automatically rate them X so but this is my Benneker Syndrome collection it's not huge though but hey it's mine and I'm happy I'm proud to have it um not a whole lot of titles that really grab me from Benneker Syndrome though but when I find them if I find them at a decent price you know I gotta pick it up pick them up now 
uh, this is my then my vinegar syndrome collection i hope you appreciate it uh, if you like the video you made it this long smash the like give me the big thumbs up ring the bell other than that may the best of your past be the worst of your future everyone be safe deuces